back. I'm back. I'm so excited to be back uh, vlogging and doing everything. My recovery was super quick, which was amazing. So I just want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for the amount of love and support and presents and flowers and cards you've all sent me. It really has been amazing and it's really helped me stay positive throughout. So uh, you've probably noticed something different about me because I've changed my hair. After 10 years with red hair, I'm going to white, but this is a halfway point. So <laughs> I've got pink unicorn hair for a month. So um, yeah, it's quite fun. I'm looking forward to uh, trying new outfits and new colors with it. So I thought today I would share with you a fabric haul and I'm gonna start with a present which was so lovely of my friend Lucy to send me. She sent me this amazing measuring tape fabric, which is just beautiful. It's so me and it's so quirky and it's sewing themed, so what's not to love? And I thought I might make a uh, lovely box pleat skirt out of it. I might use the Simple Sew Sophia pattern. So I will show you that at the end of the month. And I went shopping. I went to my favorite shop, Abacan. Um, my band were playing up in um, Rodyard Lake and it was just near Stoke-on-Trent and we had quite a bit of time to kill because we were there all weekend. So I was straight on Google saying, where's the nearest fabric shop? And when it showed that Abacan was only half an hour away, I was like, yeah, we're going there. So I was very good. I only bought one piece and it's this lovely black and white print. Again, it's just so me. It's a really lovely, sturdy but soft cotton. And I just think this will be so perfect with a pattern that I got on the same day that's in the new Great British Sewing Bee book from Stitch to Style. Now this is a great book. I still prefer the one before because I loved Claire Louise Hardy's style. I think it was more me, um, but it's still got some really good patterns. And in particular, the peplum dress. So this is an African inspired peplum dress. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the styling of the African wax print fabric, but I thought for me, I'm gonna make it in this because I just think they'll go really well together and I can play with the print. So that's gonna be a lot of fun and I can't wait to show you how I get on with that. Uh, I also bought some lovely cotton drill. So this was from Fabric Godmother. Uh, Josie on Instagram put a little picture of this up saying, wouldn't this be perfect for summer trousers? And I was straight there because it was five pounds a meter, super cheap. And uh, it's a really lovely kind of uh, medium weight cotton drill with a bit of stretch. So I think it's perfect for the sew over it ultimate trousers. So I'm gonna use that for them. And also for the sew over it ultimate trousers, I got this great cotton drill as well and this has got um, even more stretch so it'll be even more forgiving and I can have bigger meals in this one um, and this was from a fabric swap that I went to last Saturday at Waxy O'Connor's and there was a big group of us London sewers all swapping fabrics and patterns and I took two big bags of fabric and I did very well and got a lot for my stash in the meantime. And this was one that I'm so pleased I was first to spot because uh, it's going to be perfect for the ultimate trousers. And I'll show you quickly what else I got from that fabric swap because I don't know quite what I'm going to make with them yet, but I got this lovely stripy, more kind of thick upholstery fabric, but it might be a skirt. I got this lovely uh, floral spotty print cotton. Um, that I think I'm going to make into a summer dress. I got, I told you I did well. Um, this lovely tree print, which I just really love this colour. I love kind of dusty blue. Um, again, this could be cushions or something upholstery, but I'll see. I don't know what to make with that yet. This, this, that's a bit of a mystery. Um, and some polka dots. I uh, had a bit of a crazy idea about maybe making the Simple Sew Peter Pan blouse with that as the main fabric and this as the collar. Might be a bit much, but um, might have to wait till my hair's white as well because that's going to be a bit of a clash. <laughs> um, and this lovely voile, very soft. I love this print. I think just a little simple top would be really cute in that. And last but not least, because I love it, is this um, viscose. And it's got cars and palm trees and 
trainers and music and cocktails and it's just such a lovely colour and actually I'll have to look back but it's either a clash or a match for this hair colour but I think I might try the So Over It Silk Cami top for that because um, I've been meaning to make one for a while I have the pattern and I just think that might be a really nice fabric to try it in. So yeah, I did really well at the fabric swap. Thank you to the sewists that were so generous and uh, gave those great fabrics. I've got a couple more to show you. No, I have quite a lot more to show you. I've been car booting, which is something that I do a lot of. Me and my husband love to go to car boots every Sunday. And he's looking for beautiful antique children's books and fossils and I'm keeping my eye out for fabrics and patterns. Um, first of all, I found these three jerseys so we've got stripy black and this kind of funky geometric black and white print and i have a bit of a fun idea i don't know if it will work but what i want to do is do the top in the stripy with a black waistband this is going to be tricky to hold and this as a maxi skirt so it's kind of a three in one so i'm going to have a play and see if i can make that work so it would be really cool and um, I love my black and white, so it would be very wearable for me for the summer. So they were good. Um, and also at car boot sales, I got these, which are two beautiful chiffons. So we've got cats and Eiffel Tower and bows and spots on this kind of peachy pink, which again, might be a clash or a match for my hair. I don't know yet. Um, and I thought I might make a maxi skirt, so it doesn't really matter if it matches my hair because I'm going to make a skirt of it. I love wearing maxi clothes in the summer. They keep you cool and they're easy to wear. So yeah, I'm going to try that maybe with um, a pale jersey underlining. And then for the swans, which I think is my new favourite fabric, I love this so much. Uh, for this chiffon, I'm going to make a maxi dress. So I might use the bridesmaids pattern that I self-drafted for my wedding in April because I had seven bridesmaids and I made all their dresses. If you want to see more about that, that's on my blog at the moment. Um, so I thought in honour of that, I might make the same pattern, but with this lovely fabric. And again, maybe a navy blue slip or something. Uh, so I'm almost there. Uh, just one more to show you. So I also got this book, Feminine Wardrobe which I've been looking at for a while, but now it's in English and I love the Japanese pattern books, but obviously I don't speak Japanese and I wouldn't be able to understand a word. So now that they're in English, I'm going to get them all because I love these books so much. And there was one pattern in particular that made me completely fall in love with it. And that is the giant bow tie tunic. It's this lovely, simple tunic with a great big bow. It's very me. And I loved it so much and the styling of it so much that I went straight onto eBay and bought the very same fabric. So this is a uh, gingham seersucker in kind of charcoal and white. And I just think that would be a really lovely project. I'm looking forward to trying the Japanese patterns as well. And people have said they're complicated, but I quite like a challenge. So, so yeah, that is all my fabrics for this month. I have a lot to get on with and I can't wait to show you what I make in the end. As always thank you so much for watching, your support means the world to me and please if you like it click like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you, take care, bye!